Hey guys, it's Justine and I am here with my BEA book con video, my haul. So I'll just kind of start with like the swag pieces that I got. And sorry if my dog gets in the camera and you see him. Go lay down. So we'll start with some tote bags. Got Life and Style. This one I saw people around and I really wanted it. It's Wonder, which I haven't read, but I want to. It looks really good. And it kind of had a little bit of swag in it. Um, this just postcard. And 35 Days of Wonder, Mrs. Brown's Book of Precepts by R.J. Palacio, I think is how you pronounce the name. So they're just like little quotes and stuff. So that's cool. And I got this bag. I got actually two of them. And it is from Chronicle Books. And then this one is my favorite. Um, Disney was giving it out. They're Deep Blue, The Water Saga by Jennifer Donnelly. And they turn into a towel. How cool is that? Turns into a towel. So you can take it to the beach. And then you got your towel and your bag in one. Um, so I went to BEA as an exhibitor. I was with Sophie Davis. Um, if I saw you guys, that's awesome. There were so many people. Um, but I actually did buy a book on t pass ticket, but I didn't end up using it. So they look like that. Um, your name wasn't even on it or anything. So that was weird. Okay. And then, um, I read Wool by Hugh Howley on the plane or Howie and I wanted to get it signed, but I never actually saw him, but I got some, um, swag. So that's the book. I still remember it being like all over the web when it had like the weird, like childish, like book cover. Um, and then CJ Lyons, I didn't meet her either, but there was a little bit of swag. And that's signed, but it's by the illustrator. Then I got some tattoos from Camp Half-Blood, Camp Jupiter, because Rick Riordan was there, but I also did not see him. Um, this was a ticket, there was a kickoff event, and you paid $10 to go, and I paid, and then I didn't actually end up going, because I'll tell you about where I was in a bit. Um, and then there was a guy who came and was talking to us, um, and he gave me, it's like an ebook, and he signed it. You just go online and get it. Met Michelle Maddo, and we got these little diamond rhinestone tattoos. Some lady just handed this to me, so I took it. Got a Michelle Maddo bookmark. Got a vision bookmark from Lisa Amowitz. And a Diary of a Wimpy Kid pin, and I'm super excited about that. Then I got some, I don't know what that is. I got some like little kid stickers. Thought they were kind of cute. Oh, and my favorite tote bag. Captain Underpants. Oh yeah. So that was awesome. And then, um, I was standing in another line and one of my friends, Sophie Davis, who's an author, was sending in the Andy Cohen line and this is what they were handing out. It's kind of, it's just like a notebook, um, opens up and he actually signed it to me. So I don't know if I'll ever use it because I don't want to mess up the pages. Okay. So I got quite a few books. Um, some of them are for me. Some of them I got for like my dad. I gave a couple away to friends already. Um, the first one uh, is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. And I actually already read this. I read it on the plane home. Um, and this one is super good. It's about, it's like two stories in one. And so it's about a girl who just became an author and she's still a teenager. Like she's like 18. And then the other story is like her actual book story. And I met Scott Westerfeld and he signed my book. And then I was kind of stupid because his like, the person that was handing out the books with him, like his helper was kind of just like, oh, his wife's name is Justine too. And I'm like, oh, is it? And then duh, she's 
Justine, I can't remember how you say the last name, Larbster or whatever, and she's an author, duh, like I've read her books, that was the dumbest thing ever. But yeah, so this is a good book, you guys should check it out. Uh, this one, it's Soho Teen, so this is just a sampler, I think there's, there's five just like chapter samplers in here, I didn't realize that when I got it, but that'll be neat, because then find something new that I like. And this one I requested on Neck Alley and I got it and I'm excited to have like the book and it's Breaking Free by Abby Sher and this one is about escaping modern slavery. So I'm excited for that. Then this I just happened to be there when they put some arcs down um, and it's Sway by Cat Spears and it's just contemporary. Yeah, so that's a cute cover too. Then this one I was so excited for and I missed her actual signing but I still got the book so I was really happy and it's um, The Vault of Dreamers by I think her, this is how you say her name, Kara M. O'Brien and she wrote um, Birthmarked and Prized and I really like those ones so I'm excited to check this one out. And then <laughs> I've never read this book and I know that's terrible but they were giving these are finished copies I think these are special edition ones. Um, and it's The Giver by Lois Lowry and she I got to meet her and she also signed it as well. So that's exciting and I'll have to um, read this one soon. His naked self is just beige and orange so I'm not going to pop that all the way off. And this one I'm excited for as well. I got Vampires of Manhattan by Melissa de la Cruz, The New Blue Bloods Coven and I've read all the blue but well I've read them all except for the newest one I haven't read um, and this one they're adults now so this one's like an adult novel and everyone's grown up so that'll be fun to see kind of like how they've progressed. Um, this one I know it's not the first one but um, it was there and it's YOLO by Lauren Miracle. Um, <clears throat> there's a few other ones TTYL and some other ones and I've read a couple Lauren Miracle books and I didn't I wasn't really a fan of her writing so I'll try these ones see if I like them and this one I was another luck of the draw like I just happened to be there when they did a galley drop kind of um, Cami Garcia and it's unmarked um, the Legion book two and I have book one so yay! now I got book two and then this one, okay, they had a Cassandra Clare and a Holly Black signing and I couldn't get tickets because like book con day was ridiculous, but I got one of these ones as well and I was super excited because it's one that I really wanted. Um, the Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. I love Holly Black. Um, her, the fairy series that she writes, Teeth and Ironside, and I can't remember what the other one, but I like them and like, Yeah. And then I got an R.L. Stein book and I'm super excited. Um, it's the new Fear Street um, party games. And I did, I met R.L. Stein at our Comic Con. He signed this one too. I didn't actually meet him this time. The girl, Sophie Davis, got it for me because they were in line and they got an extra for me. So that was super nice of them. Thanks, ladies. And then, like I was saying, Sandra Claire and Holly Black, I got just by the luck of the draw it's not signed or anything but I got um the iron trial it's kind of signed but not like in real and that's what the cover is going to look like and this one is like a middle grade and I'm really excited to read it too because those are like some of the ones that I really wanted and I couldn't get them signed but that's okay because I still got the book and hopefully I'll get to meet them one day and then I got virgin a novel by Radhika Shanghani let you guess what that one's about. Exciting! And then uh, another one, like literally the, all the authors that I wanted to see, I didn't get to see them, but I like just happened to walk around when they were giving out the arcs and I was really lucky that way. I got Sinner by Maggie Steve Otter and I didn't really like like the Shiver series, but this is a spinoff and I'm hoping that it's better, um, more action packed. And then I'm on um, the street team. I'm a street team captain for this author. And so I got this arc um, and it is Vision by Lisa Amowitz. And I'm super excited to read it too. It doesn't come out till September, I believe. 
Um, she signed it for me, of course. And I got a little bit of swag from her too. Is Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. And I wasn't like the super biggest fan of Hush Hush, so I'm excited to check this one out. Um, it's totally different than um, Hush Hush. So I think that'll help a lot. And then I got Bombay Blues by Tanya Desai Hidier. Just butchered that totally. And I thought this one looked really cool. They go back to Bombay for a wedding. So they get to see their culture and their ancestors. Okay, and then these ones um, are kind of like random because some of them are for me and some of them are like for my dad or whoever. Um, Soldier of Change from the Closet to the Front Forefront of the Gay Rights Movement by Stephen Snyder Hill. I thought that this one would be really interesting. Um, obviously. <laughs> We all know what that's about. Um, Hider Seeker, Secret Keeper by Elizabeth Kim. Um, and this one, it's like a Russian ballerina. But that's all I know. Um, I Become Shadow by Joe Shine. I just really like this cover. I think it's sci-fi. Yeah, sci-fi. It's like government, all kinds of stuff, maybe dystopian a bit. Um, this one I grabbed two and I, th or I didn't grab two, but I grabbed it also and I'm excited for it, even though I've never heard of it and I think it, it's by Disney and it's, I believe, middle grade, but maybe not. Um, Lock and Co. The Whispering Skull by Jonathan Stroud and Rick Riordan has a little blurby there, so it must be good. I got Unbreakable, A Navy Seal's Way of Life, Life by Tom Shea. We actually got to meet this author, um, he signed the books for us. And I really like, um, like if I'm not reading Young Adult, I really like nonfiction. So it's like from one end to the other. So a lot of these are kind of like are nonfiction or they're like nonfiction fiction, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, this one I thought looked really cool. Touch, um, who's this by? By Claire North. And this one it's like, if I touch you, I can take over your body kind of a thing. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Interesting concept. Um, Flight 93, the story, the aftermath and the legacy of American courage on 9-11 by Tom McMillan. Uh, Empire of Mud, the secret history of Washington, D.C. by J.D. Dickey. And I like to learn lots of things because I'm from Canada, so I know nothing really about the States. Um, so those maybe will help a little bit. The Forgotten Girls by Sarah Bladell. And this one I really thought sounded neat, but I can't remember now. Uh, a woman goes missing and she has a really big scar on her face and no one's reported her missing, so they found it really weird. Um, and then somebody says they recognize her they cared for her in a mental institution many years ago um she was abandoned by her family and branded a forgotten girl Ooh, how did she die okay uh, oil rush the international tug of war by susan howell and we met this author and her husband and her daughter actually they're really really nice she signed it for us um, some of these ones I'll probably read and then I'll let my dad read and see how he likes. Like that one I think he'd be really interested in. Maybe even my grandma, she likes neato stuff. Um, Turbulence, a survival story by Annette Herfkins. And this one, um, she was in a plane crash. Her and her husband went on vacation and to Vietnam and the plane crashed and she's the only one who survived the plane crash. Her husband died. How crazy is that? And then I got, what's this one? The Secret Wisdom of the Earth by Christopher Scotton. It's just kind of like written on. Um, I look cool too. I don't remember what it's about. Uh, Thunder in the Mountains, A Personal Journey Through America's Gun Culture by Craig K. Collins. The Emissary, a novel by Patricia Corey. 
This one I thought looked really cool. This one I specifically grabbed for my dad. Um, the Means, Douglas Brute. Brunt. Brunt? I don't know. And my dad's name is Douglas too, so that's funny. He'll like that. Um, and then City of Lies, Love, Sex, Death, and the Search for Truth in Tehran by Ramita Navi. And this one I think is about a prostitute. Porn star, aging socialite, assassin, and an enemy of the state. And one of them has a sex change and there's a divorce. Gambling den. Sounds awesome. Uh, then I got Yankee in Atlanta by Jocelyn Green. Um, oh, and this is book three. That sucks. I gotta get the first two. But sounded neat. Um, the Republic of Imagination, America in three books, Azar Nafisi. And the reason I grabbed this one was because in one of my Goodreads groups, we're doing a traveling book and we were doing um, Lolita in Tehran, which is the fir one of the first books or another book that they wrote. So that's why I specifically grabbed this book. And I got The Truth About the Harry Hubert Affair by Joelle Dicker. And this one I saw on Goodreads for like one of the giveaways and I entered the giveaway and I didn't end up winning, but worked out in my favor. And it's huge. Then I got Kinda Like Brothers by Co Booth. Some of these ones are middle grade, I think, the rest of them. Um, and I didn't want to be one of those people that like grabs everything. Like I feel like I'm gonna read all these or like I know somebody who will. Um, but at the same time, some of the people I felt bad for because nobody was grabbing their books and they're like trying to just like push books at you. So then I would take them. Like I almost took, it was like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like some, almost like a Bible. And then I like look at it and I'm like, oh no thanks. And I like felt bad giving it back, but it's like, I'm not gonna read that. Um, Unstoppable Octobia May by Sharon G. Flake. And this one's kind of like a Nancy Drew-ish. Like she does, it's like a mystery. And then this one, I really like the cover. Uh, Thrones and Bones, Frostborn by Lou Anders. And it's middle grade. can tell by the book. The cover. Um, and The Zero Degree Zombie Zone by Patrick Henry Bass. And I got this one because it said zombies. And I love zombies. And this one sounded really interesting. Um, Nest by Esther Ehrlich. Ehrlich? Um, it's about 11 year old, um, she, the mom develops symptoms of a serious disease and the family struggles with tragic changes. And then they watch birds to kind of overcome the sadness, I guess. And I got Gabrielle Finley and the Raven's Riddle by George Hagen. And I got The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins. I really like that cover. I think it's beautiful. It's about a college student who has a writing assignment for an English class and they have to interview and write a brief, brief biography of a stranger. And he goes to a nursing home to find someone he can write about and he meets Carl Iverson who is dying. He's a Vietnam, Vietnam veteran convicted and a convicted murderer. Okay, only five more. I got Letters to a Birmingham Jail, a response to the words and dreams of Dr. Martin Luther King. Um, lots of authors are contributors there. Sorry, that's my dog making noise. Now he's missing the deer. Um, last Winter We Parted, and it's translated from Japanese, and it's by Fuminori Nakamura. Butchered that totally. Um, Rainy Royal, a novel by Dylan Landis, and I just super loved, like, this color. The First Bad Man, a novel by Miranda July. Check that out. All black, matte black. Uh, The Black House by Peter May. Again, love that cover. And last but not least, The Forgotten Girl by David Bell. And I also love that cover. So that was it. I didn't even go to any bookstores when I was in New York. I didn't have time. I was at BEA Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I left Monday. So 
I didn't really have that much time to do anything, but it was awesome. Um, my only concerns were that there was way too many people on BookCon Day, and as an exhibitor, like, there was way too many people, um, people actually stole stuff, like our display books, people stole. And, like, it's just crazy. There were so many people, and people were getting mad if, like, you weren't, like, I understand, because, like, on Book Con Day, the girl, uh, Sophie Davis, wasn't giving her books away for free. She was selling them uh, for $10, which is for a paperback, isn't bad, right? And people were, like, getting mad. Like, it's okay. It's one thing for you to say, oh, no, it's okay. But people were like, why would I buy a yearbook when I can get stuff for free? Blah, 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 blah. And it's just, like, there were so many rude people. Like, people were pushing you. I was talking to one blogger who said, like, and it wasn't even on BookCon Day. It was, like, the BEA when it's, like, publishers, librarians, like, professional people. And he said that he had a book in his hand reading the back and some lady tried to grab it out of his hand. Like, it's crazy. People just, like, go insane. And... Yeah, like, ridiculous. But anyways, that's all. Um, I will see you guys soon in another video.